Hey there guys, it's Attack on Samurai and welcome. So here is another Wi-Fi battle. Um this is against uh, Hayden. So yeah. <clears throat> um so I'm using my uh, the same team I used before with uh, Mega Lopini and he's using a new team with uh Glaceon, Politoed, Zapdos, Scizor, Garchomp, and Megalopony. So yeah, we've got the same Megas and stuff. Um, this battle was a while ago, so as usual, I won't remember. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> so let's see what he did and what I did. Let's see how we both played. Um, so he's gonna so. I believe I start off with my uh, Shinigami, aka Gengar. And he starts off with his Lopunny, aka uh, Not Funny. I mean, Not Funny, aka Lopunny. So I was predicting a, fi a mega fake out, so I decided to switch out Gengar. Not wanting to break my sash and stuff, and I'll take unnecessary damage. He's gonna mega evolve his Lopunny, as I had said before, and most likely going for the fake out. Um, which I believe he did go for the fake out. Yep, he went for the fake out. Uh, since my Rotom is defensive, that's not going to do that much. So he decides to switch out. Uh, then I go into his 7.8 Nate via Polito. Um, <clears throat> activating the Drizzle on the field. Um, I believe I went for a full switch. Yeah, I went for a full switch. That was a pretty good play for me. Because uh, <laughs> Volspurst does a lot of damage to that Polito as well. So. He was probably like a physically defensive Polito or something. But <clears throat> I'm gonna go for the uh, Dragon Claw. And I'm gonna switch and go into uh, Flygon for the Dragon Claw, and I'm able to uh, take out the uh, Polytoad, so that's pretty nice. Um, he's gonna switch into. He's gonna substitute for uh, Glaceon. So I was thinking, okay, he might be Scarfed or something, the way he said today. And so I wanted to check that by switching out into um, Registeel, Carbon to take it. So he goes for the Ice Beam, as I thought. And it doesn't really do that much to me actually, so <clears throat> he's gonna switch out, probably gonna put himself in a better position. Goes into the Garchomp, not a bad not a bad uh, play for him, as I go for the uh, Stealth Rocks. So, and I want to make sure I get these uh, rocks up so that I can hit the, uh, so that I can hurt the uh, Zapdos. Gets to be a little bit of a chip damage on it. Uh, he goes for the EQ, I predicted that. And I went into my Gengar for that. <clears throat> so he's gonna switch out Garchomp. Probably gonna go into his Scizor. Yeah, he goes for, he goes for the uh, Scizor. As I think I go for a Willow Wisp. Yeah, I go for the Willow, and I actually land it too. So, <coughs> so yeah, not bad for me. Be able to land that Willow Wisp and uh, weaken his Gengar. I mean, we <laughs> weaken his Scizor. Um, so I'm going to switch out, not wanting to be in that position. He's going to go for a U-turn right here. Going to do like no damage at all. Yep, did like little damage. There was no damage. Um, and switch out. His scissor probably going to go back into his guard shot, most likely. Okay, no, he goes into the, uh, into the low putting, so never mind. Um, yeah, he's going to go in the low putting. Going to go for the fake out. Um, going to do quite a bit, actually. Um, punches me, of course, so that's fine. He's gonna go for the high jump kick. He's gonna land it, and I believe this kills. Yep, it kills. So <laughs> there goes Rotom. Rotom didn't do that much, even though it did do a lot to the Polito. But still, um, so yeah, he's gonna go for the return. Um, I'm gonna live it on my Sash very nicely, and I'm gonna go for the Sledge Bomb. Gonna get some damage on this thing. A lot of damage actually, which is a crit. So. Yeah, that crit definitely mattered for him. It really did. Um, gonna go into his uh, scissor now. And I believe I just go for a shadow ball. Or I just switch out. Yeah, I switch out. Not wanting to, uh, you know, get, uh, get hit with the uh, BP, the boy punch. Um, he's, I'm just gonna, nah, he's actually gonna go for a U turn here. Uh, gonna get a little bit of damage on me. You know, nothing too. Uh, nothing too uh, yeah, so he's gonna switch out Scizor. Um, probably gonna go into his Garchomp. Okay, no, he went into the uh, Zapdos. Zapdos is gonna take some Stealth Rock damage. And, uh, yeah. Gonna get some lefties as well. 
and I believe I switch out and go back into Flygon, I think. Okay, no, I go into my Amandaba, uh, since I know I can take a hit from this thing. Actually, I think he went for a Heat Wave and missed there, so yeah, that was pretty unfortunate for him. Um, he's gonna go for a Discharge here. It's gonna do quite a bit to me, but I'm a uh, Special Defensive uh, Mandiba, so I'm able to take it quite decently. Um, as he, you know, goes for this for the Discharge and uh, paralyzes me, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> kind of sucks for me. Um, he's gonna go for another Discharge. Um, what I'm trying to do here is trying to uh, Toxic him. Uh, he goes for, I mean, my uh, Citrus activates right here. No, wait, I think I went for a boost here. Yeah, no, it was for a Toxic. Okay, so I went for the Toxic. So, pretty good play for me. Because uh, now I put this as that was on the timer, which is very nice. Uh, so yeah, he um, recovered his leftovers and he's pretty much back to full health here. Um, so he's going to go for another Discharge, and that's pretty much going to take out my uh, Mandibus, which is fine. All I needed was to Toxic this after, so Mandibus did its job, <clears throat> which I'm very glad it did. Uh, so yeah, Zapdos is taking a little more Toxic damage. Um, I believe I go into my, yep, I go, I go into my Yorichi, aka my Megalopony, as I believe I just go for an Ice Punch here, I think, or I Protect, one of the two. I think I Protect, actually. Yeah, I went for the Protect. Um, I probably didn't need to do that because uh, lo regular Lopini can actually outspeed this thing. But, you know, I just wanted to be safe. <laughs> so, yeah, Zapdos is taking a little bit more Toxic Damage. Um, so Toxic Damage is stacking on him. As now he's gonna switch out his Zapdos, probably gonna go into a Scizor. Yep, gonna go into Scizor here. And I think I just go for a return. Now I'm for an Ice Punch. Okay, I'm for the Ice Punch. Uh, it's not gonna do that much since Scizor does resist ice. Um, but Scizor's also taking burn damage as well, so he's pretty much sacking this thing at this point because he knows it can't really do anything with it. As he goes for a BP, not doing that much. <laughs> And I go for the Drain Punch, and I'm able to take out his uh, Scizor, I think. I think I take it out, don't I? Oh yeah, I take it out. Okay, good. So, now Scizor is gone. All he has left is Garchomp, Glaceon, and Zapdos, which can't really do too much to me. Um, as he goes for the uh, Dragon Claw here, uh, does a lot of damage, but somehow, uh, Yorichi is able to survive that, go for an Ice Punch, and pretty much take out this Garchomp. Uh, as he uh, does get the uh, rescue damage off on me, which does <coughs> unfortunately suck, but that's fine. Uh, so now he's going to go into his uh, Glaceon, and I think he's going to take me out with an Ice Beam, I think. Yep, he goes, no, he actually goes, goes for the uh, Signal Beam, so. Anyways, that still takes out Yoruichi, which is fine. It's all good. <coughs> Yoruichi did what he needed to do, got in a lot of damage. Uh, so now I'm going to go into my antennas as he switches out his Glaceon thinking that I'm running a uh, Scarf Zapdos, I mean a, a uh, Scarf uh, Flygon, uh, which I'm not. I am uh, running Bandit Jolly uh, Flygon. So Dragon Claw hits. Doesn't take out the Zapdos unfortunately, but it does a lot to a point where uh, the Toxic may kill it, I think. No, it doesn't kill. <laughs> Um, but yeah, he pretty much forfeits there. Um, cause he, he forfeited because he said that I had uh, counter teamed him, uh, which in reality I really did not counter team him. Um, my team was you know just made, we just made like it wasn't made to counter his team like. Um, granted it did it did a lot, but. Like if I if if I had wanted to counter his team, I would have used different stuff. But like I would never do that to anyone. I would never hard counter anyone. Like that's just it's just like unsportsman like it's that's not me. That's not me guys. I'm not that guy that'll just hard counter you. Like that's that's not me. Just just saying that. Just saying that, but yeah, it was a, it was a good game though. Um, he did get a little, like I said, he did get a little salty in the end, but it's all good. 
it's all good. It's the, it's just the way the game goes. Stuff happens, and you can't really, you know, do anything about it. So, yeah, good game, Hayden. Um, that was actually my first win against him, I think. Yeah, that was, I think that was my first win against Hayden. So, that was pretty good. Um, but, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next Wi-Fi battle.